off at 7.30 in the morning. Greg disembarking right now. Wind in our face. Here's Greg canoeing by Fort Claggett. One of my favorite parts about Greg is he enjoys brushing his teeth while he reads history. <laughs> So we're at uh, Judith Landing um, on the boat ramp. Stopped here in order to drop off some things, including trash. <laughs> and uh, yeah, nice little spot, historic place. I think Lewis and Clark stayed here according to the interpretive signs. Um, so we have about 60 miles to go uh, until the takeout at Kip, but we have many days to do them. So we're gonna find a place to stop and hang out for a couple of nights, I think. Yeah, it's just been a really nice time. A little breezy this morning, a little chilly. Feels good. It beats. Nashville heat and humidity. Um, yeah. That's it. Pat made me get up really early this morning and uh, get going. Not sure why I agreed to that, but I did. So I haven't had enough coffee. Day four, just down from Judith Landing, entering the Badlands. So, here we are on a windy day, on an island, looking for camp. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go back up into the wind. I can't murder him. No, I can't. There he is. Yeah, so I'm watching Greg run into a rock right now. <laughs> Side, you had the entryway, we'll call this one the mudroom. Uh, got some sort of an animal harness and some coffee and some turpentine, not to get mixed up in the morning. Then we're gonna move into the family room. Move into the family room. Oh, we have a table with more coffee. Huh. Surprisingly less tur turpentine. Let's see, we've got some corn husker potatoes, some pears, some baking soda to keep this place smelling good. Yeah. So, and then over here's our stove. So, got some more coffee. Uh, we got our wood burning stove there. Mm, actually, I believe it is a mouse growing stove. Okay, uh, and then we come into the bedroom. That's right, this is where the magic happens. Okay, as you can see, uh, something's been killed there, but we'll just ignore that for right now. But yeah, so here was the straw mattress. So, very nice. I just want to invite you to my home. There's my heater, if it's a little bit cool in here for you. So, um, and uh, I made it extra asbestos -y for everyone. So here I am with Craig in a cabin.
Montana and we're out in the wind and it feels really good. I just came here. Ladies and gentlemen. Make it go. Blue sky, wispy clouds. Pretty day. Bit of a breeze that's turning my canoe. So I'll go ahead and capture the scene behind us. and wipe. <laughs> so here we are, just going along. And Greg had to beat a ferry. It was an interesting moment how worlds collided. So I'll let Greg tell you. So that was unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Came around a bend. We knew, according to the map, that there was a uh, a ferry that, you know, historically could take vehicles and people across the river. Wagons. Sure. And uh, yeah, just as soon as we arrived at the crossing, uh, two pickup trucks arrived at the crossing with then, badges. What's that? With badges. Yeah, one of them had a badge. Uh, and. Uh, and yeah, so the ferry <laughs> started to come across <laughs> to go pick up those two trucks. And then as, you know, the trucks loaded up, it immediately started coming back while we were crossing. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a race. <laughs> we won. That ferry operator did not give a shit. <laughs> He's got a job to do, damn it. Pick him up, take him across. Hi, Pat. What's up? Hey. What do we got going on here? Hey. Welcome to Greg's Island. All of this could be yours. There's a midget running around, tattoo. I don't know if you've seen him or not, but uh, yeah, this is a fantastic place. I'm going to try to remember to talk into the camera. Fantastic. Um, so um, our campsite up above, um, we were thwarted. Um, a core discovery campsite is occupied by a motorboat and I'll insert the sound there well we made it to our campsite and there's some chick on a motorboat occupying the site and I imagine there's other people that are probably out doing other things like fishing today but that means we keep going um, and we went to try to see if we could find a place but there's a lot of this stuff. This stuff. Right. This stuff. Ugh. So we had to uh, audible. So we came about, I don't know, maybe a half mile, three quarters of a mile downstream. And we found this nice little island. So, yeah. Greg is um, taking a, a liking to it. I kind of like this. Yeah, it's uh, pretty much fantastic. So we're gonna stay here for the night and uh, we got a little head start for tomorrow. See ya. Here we are on, uh, I think it's, this is called Wednesday, I don't know what night it is. So here we are on our sandbar, gravel bar, but there's a nomad, let's go take a look. Greg will be making love to the ground and I, will be nicely above ground listening to the 
sensual call of cows. But look at this place. Just look at this place. <laughs>